Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Big man on the floor for him. It'll be Washington and Gafford. Irving on the wing along with Thompson. And it's Doncic in at the one spot. And for Boston, Holiday in the backcourt. To his side is White. The post pair, Tatum and Porzingis. And it's Brown in at the three. All the talk, Greg, leading up to this one has been about the impact of the backcourt. And that's where it all starts. When you have a confident and competent backcourt, it just opens up a lot of things for you offensively. Now here is Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Washington. And the dunk by Porzingis. You have to know how to play pick and roll in today's NBA. And Porzingis has got great instincts of when to dive and when to fade. Doncic against Holiday. Doncic passes to Irving. Thompson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And Doncic gets it to go. If you allow Luka to establish position because of his size, his strength, his footwork, turn the lights out. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, briefly spoke with Joe Missoula. Now, coach immediately recognized the many talents of Kyrie Irving. One thing he pointed out was not losing Irving on defense. Coach said Irving is just as dangerous without the ball. We can't let him get behind us. We have to make sure someone is on him at all times. Back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Doncic. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Irving against White. And it's sent back by White. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. Kept alive. The kick out to Holiday. And that one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Doncic looking it over. And Gafford throws it down. And he pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. The Celtics have gone two for four from the field so far today. GA, these Boston Celtics are unquestionably a top-tier offensive unit. Stupendous shooting. Excellent. Oh, goodness. I tell you, this guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. Here's Irving. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Washington sets the pick for Thompson. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Brown against Thompson. Now here's Brown. Defense right on him. Outside Tatum. Clock at four. Shoots over Washington. Tatum's shot is off. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Pass to Doncic. Irving a screen on Holiday. Doncic kicks to Irving. Three-pointer. Porzingis with the rebound. The Celtics have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Right the pass to Holiday. Now Porzingis. Back to Holiday. Down low. Nice shot by Porzingis. I tell you, it's seven foot three to have that kind of body control. Kristaps Porzingis makes it look easy. They've been struggling time out, time here on out. offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Jason Kidd is called timeout. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with his guys.
And the Mavericks making a change here. Lively's checked in. to the right wing. Washington kicks to Irving. It doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Brown. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone when you think about the best ball handlers of all time. Where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Pazingas. Horford comes in for Derek White. And it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. One forty-nine left here in the opening quarter. A three, Marshall. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Boy, outstanding decision-making by Dinwiddie. We associate him as a scorer, but what a pretty look. Pass to Tatum. Tatum setting the pick for Horford. From downtown. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And it's Washington missing. Austin leading by four. Here's Tatum. Gets in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. Pass to Washington. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Dante Exum is checked in for P.J. Washington. Oh. Oh. On the wing, Doncic. He's covered by Brown. Doncic, no good. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 9, shooting it well. Brown the pass to Tatum from deep. It's rebounded by Doncic. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Dinwiddie outside. Good on the triple. Well, he has proven that you've got to respect the long-range ability of Spencer Dinwiddie. Nice. Outside Tatum. Over to the left wing. Richard off target with his three. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Celtics lead by three. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. And guys, they've done a great job feeding their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Mavericks trail by three. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. Then there's Brown, and it's Cornette in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Five on the clock. Fires for three, and he's good on the three ball. Dinwiddie's got six points. And awards now have a minimum amount of games needed to qualify. An interesting twist in this whole story. Yeah, and, and it seems logical because of the uproar from the fans and the media that they implement this. 
And, and how can you be that impactful in reality, though, if you only play half the year? And here's Brown outside. Mavericks with the rebound. On the wing, Dinwiddie. Stolen by Tatum. On the wing, Brown. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Pritchard, covered by Irving. Outside, Tatum. Jacks up a three. And Lively pulls it down. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Dinwiddie with the bucket. Well, just incredible ability on the drive. This guy, Spencer Dinwiddie, so difficult to contain. There's a screen. Left side, Tatum. Let's the three fly. The three from Tatum. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Doris with Nowitzki time out, time and Doncic. The Mavericks have gone from one great European player to another. And you could tell the one year that Luka got to play with Dirk, Kevin, he absolutely loved it. He got to learn from a Hall of Famer and a champion. What better way to start your career? And Jason Kidd is called timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. Some changes for Boston. Porzingis is coming in for Luke Cornett. And it's Holiday in for Pritchard. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Irving dishes to Doncic. Let's it go with a three. It's rebounded by Porzingis. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. To the paint. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by Brown. And it's a three-point Celtic lead. Add that to the repertoire of moves on the interior. KP doing work. Outside Irving. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Boston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, Kyrie Irving has teamed up with Luka Doncic. Kai says he's a winner. I'm a winner. We like going against the best. That's where we connect. It's about how we galvanize the rest of the group. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I failed and succeeded at the highest level. And I want to get back to that place. Kevin? Yeah, if anybody can do it, it is Kyle. Title or bust. Thank you, DA. Two on the clock. Holiday gets the bucket. And capable of making these in his sleep. Holiday has tremendous confidence and touch on that mid-range. Here's Doncic. Doncic with a strong move inside. Well, great possession there. Anytime you end up at the rim with a high percentage look, perfect. Luka Doncic started off his 2024 Doris with a historic scoring performance. He sure did, Kevin. He was only the fourth player in league history to score over 72 points in a game. It was the shooting performance of a lifetime, and Luka just takes it all in stride. Incredible. The rise and fire by Jason Tatum, ready to catch it and score it immediately. Kleba with a screen on Brown. Here's Doncic. Doncic going to work. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Out to the wing. To the inside, Tatum. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Now, this is one of the best scorers in the game today. Jason Tatum, we're getting used to performances like this. And we've got a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust.
Daniel Gafford's checked in for Dallas. E.J. Washington comes in for Maxi Kleba. There's a minute 40 left in the first half of basketball. Doncic kicks to Gafford. Pass to Dinwiddie. Tatum against Irving. From deep Washington. Nailed from three-point land. Well, Kyrie Irving's creativity is indisputable. This guy can score it, but he is also an excellent passer. Back to Tatum. Left side, Horford. Horford with a screen on Dinwiddie. Here's Holiday. No good with the wing jumper. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. To the middle. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Irving. Well, solid work from Kyrie right there. This guy never fears going against bigger players. His shot making too good. Porzingis kicks to Holiday. Horford with a screen on Dinwiddie. Holiday inside the line. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Holiday's got his second basket of the game. You want to be an NBA point? Take notes on Holiday running that pick and roll. Sometimes taking it yourself is the best option. Washington, that's good. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Tatum looking around. Oh, Tatum finds a way! And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. With one on the clock, doesn't go that time. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. So good to have us have a good start. Uh, Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Well, we know, G.A., the Mavs are so adept at hunting the matchups they want. They're patient and methodical. Yeah, they, they never look like they're in a rush, right? Even when you send a double or trap the ball, the Mavs stay calm and know where to go. It's what makes slowing down their pick and roll so difficult. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Big man on the floor for him. It'll be Washington and Gafford. Luka Doncic out there with Spencer Dinwiddie. And it's Irving in at the three spot. White with it. He's picked up by Doncic and slam dunk by Tatum. Oh, how easy it is to get off your feet. How about the spring from Jason Tatum? Now here's Dinwiddie. Eight points for him. Doncic, no good. 
just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Tatum no good. Mavericks trail by four. On the wing. They get the rebound. Gafford. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Launches a three. Here's Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. White against Doncic. Gafford passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. In tight windows, you have got to be confident and on point. Spencer Dinwiddie, really good job in the pick and roll. Horford with a screen on Doncic. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got four rebounds in this game. For the lead. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on White. It's hard to believe, but Luka Doncic is still in his mid-20s. Uh, Doris, does he even have a ceiling? That is the question, Kevin, and I'm not sure he does because in the first part of his career, he's been all NBA consistently, and we're talking first team multiple times. He's averaged over 30 in a season. I don't think there is a ceiling, Kevin. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And the way the Celtics can attack teams' doors with their five-out set, it's impossible to fully defend it. Kevin, there is so much space on the floor because they have shooters at every single position and guys who balance that shooting with an ability to get off the dribble drive. This is as good an offense as we've seen. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Boy, Luca's strength, his size, his savvy puts him at the free throw line so often. Holiday, the pass to Brown. White against Doncic. And here's Tatum for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Doncic. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley-oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. And we've got a timeout from Joe Missoula. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Austin making a switch here. Prozingis has checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Clay Thompson. Brown finds Horford. Outside Tatum. To halt the run. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Tatum's got five points now in the quarter. You have got to be in Tatum's space. This guy is such a terrific range shooter. Back to Doncic. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. Inside. Porzingis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. Kristaps Porzingis has proven over the course of his young career that he is willing to be a force as a shot blocker. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. 
Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Well, Brown taking away the shooter's airspace effectively crowd scores and gets them out of their comfort zone. Pass to Holiday. Back to Tatum. Porzingis to two. Gets a very good look and converts. Eight points for Porzingis. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. The three for Doncic. Oh, Doncic with a confident three ball. Well, that's about decision-making and being comfortable in the pick-and-roll. For Luka, he's been there and done that. Brown, the pass to Holiday. Porzingis with a screen on Dinwiddie. A wide-open look here for Holiday. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Brown against Dinwiddie. To the inside. Washington kicks to Doncic. Six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one is on Holiday. You can see Luka Doncic has the body, the handle, the footwork, and the savvy to draw fouls. That is nicely done. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Dallas. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. I also like how they've played in the painted area. They've made an effort to work on the inside and convert those chances. And that one misses. And Greg, at the time Kyrie joined Dallas, there were some questions around how he and Doncic would fit together. Yeah, well, Dallas needed another ball handler who could score and make plays for others. Doncic couldn't do it all by himself, especially in the postseason. Now they're trying to build around those two guys. Thompson, he's checked in for Dallas. And the second free throw, good. Celtics trail by three. And here is Tatum. He's got 21. For Zingas, it's good on the putback. But that's the elastic reach of Porzingis. Corrals that one and makes certain it drops home. Dallas has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. And Thompson kicks to Dinwiddie. Pass to Washington. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Goes up on the wing. Rebounded by the Celtics. Persingas has got four rebounds now tonight. On the wing, Brown. Guarded by Doncic. And here's Tatum for three. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got his fifth rebound in this one. Thompson finds Doncic. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. from Porzingis. 
Three quarters of play in a close game here. Mavericks ahead. They lead by one. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Horford and Porzingis are manning the post positions. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then it's Walker, and it's Pritchard in at the point. That's the Boston Five. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one up. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Outside Irving. Pass to Lively. Doncic with it. Fader on the way. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. Doncic has got it all tied up now for the man. Outside Tatum. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Sinking that tough shot, Jason Tatum. Well, size and skill. Tatum on the interior? Yes, sir. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. Washington against Horford. Irving from long range. Rebound, Boston. Walker the pass to Tatum. Tatum gets it inside. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Here's Washington. And Horford pulls it down. Horford's got four rebounds now tonight. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. There's Walker with the three. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Mavericks trail by four. Anjic passes to Lively. There's Walker with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the defense scattered all over the place on the break. Nice job finding the wide-open three. Anjic outside. And they get it. Rebounded by Tatum. Austin leading by seven. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, Doris, from the moment Jason Tatum entered the NBA, he has been the guy on his team. How big a burden do you think that is for a player to carry? Well, Jason Tatum, regardless of how much responsibility he has, has always worn it gracefully. This young man, from the time he was a little kid in St. Louis, has dreamed of leading an NBA team. He is doing exactly that. And that one falls for Tatum. Doris, some great shooters on this Boston team, but at times, don't you think they settle from the perimeter? Well, Kevin, obviously, this is a coaching staff that puts a heavy emphasis on three-point shooting. They led the league in makes. They led the league in attempts. But obviously, your two best players, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, with their size and athleticism and driving ability, you want to try to find the right balance. They do a great job of that. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. Nice shot by Thompson. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. It's tipped. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Thompson against Tatum. Outside Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. 
Tatum's got three assists now in this one. And we've got a timeout called by Jason Kidd. He knows every possession is critical now. Here the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. Coach is not happy with that three-point battle. He told his team, we're down because they're making more threes than us. We have to defend the line if we're not making them at the other end. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. For the screen on Walker. Thompson outside. And here's Washington outside. Walker with the rebound. Here's the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run here. Throws it down, JT! Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Persingas with a screen on Thompson. Tatum down low. It's up against Thompson. Bounce pass, Holiday. Three-pointer, Horford. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Thompson looking for an opening. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Doncic has got 10 points here in the second half. Outside, Horford. Pass to Tatum. On the arc. Luka Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, Luka Doncic, one of the few guys you want handling the ball in crunch time. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And the other thing, guys, credit their game plan. They've been getting the looks they want, and they are executing at a high level. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. Steps back. Knocks it loose. Tatum against Thompson from eight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, you like the level of aggression right there from Jason Tatum. Committed to scoring on the interior and draws the contact. throw is good and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the lock and it's a seven point game. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free throw line. Add to your lead. Walker against Irving. Back to Thompson. Irving looking over the floor. Just four to shoot. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Those three pointers off the mark. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just got to work that clock and take care of the ball. Horford's shot is good. Well, Al Horford just goes about his business, and that's an easy opportunity right there. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They trail by nine points. 
Cranes the three-pointer. 19 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. And the Mavericks call time here. They're trailing by eight. Guys, what's your take? A lot to talk over and improve on for next time. Well, maybe it could wait until after the game, because this one is over. for the triple. It's hauled in by Persingas. Here's Holiday. So we see Boston get the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.